highest point in Adair County in the state of Iowa. You have tuned in to another Walk and Talk video. This is your host, Matt. Welcome back, everybody, over our summertime break. We have been already on the trails walking, and you can see everybody's a little wet, a little tired, a little hot, because it is hot and sticky here in the state of Iowa. And that's where you're at. You're at Rawson Ridge in the southwest portion of Iowa. In the center of the screen, you can see our burner cat, and we call him a burner cat because he really does think, he thinks he is a Bernice Mountain Dog. He is part of the pack. So when we go for walks, Spider-Man follows along with us. Welcome back, everybody, and thanks for tuning in. Uh, things are gonna change dramatically for the year 2015 for Walk and Talk videos. We are asking for your help. This is the concept. I have been doing for the last eight months uh, videos with my cell phone in hand, walking down our two miles worth of trails here at Ross and Ridge. And I want to bring you uh, better information. I want to bring you some sights, some sounds, and some facts from people that really, uh, they're considered the experts in their field, but I can only do that with your help. So what's going to happen for 2015, Walk and Talk is going to hit the road, and we're going to not just utilize a cell phone, uh, not at all. We're going we're gonna to utilize uh, broadcast cameras, some light packs, some audio packs, and we're going to seek out those places that you want to see. You, our viewers, you, our friends. Now, the catch is it has to be related to all things burner. So, it could be anything from OFA to pen hip to maybe burner guard to what's in it, uh, what, what goes on behind a, a dog show, or why do a dog show? Why should we show our dogs? questions that you may have, things that are in the back of your mind that you may have tried to Google or research, and just have, um, you've gotten some maybe mediocre information. What we'll try to do is seek out the experts. We'll go to those places and see if they'll grant us interviews on camera and take us behind the scenes to the things that we really want to see and know about. And that can only be done through your help. So please, friends, I'm asking for your help with this project. We're going to go to four places within the United States only and we'll take a general consensus of the top four topics and that's going to map out our trail for 2015. Please help us out folks, share this video, maybe make a post on your wall and that would be absolutely wonderful for, for both Karen and myself. That is the concept for Walk and Talk 2015. Now I would be remiss if I did not recognize some of my social network friends at this point. This is a shout out to some of our very good friends that are going through some good times and some bad times. Not only with their four-legged furry ones, but in their private lives. So, I want to do a shout out first and foremost to our good friend Barbara, whose Bailey has gone through some really uh, a, a difficult surgery, and we're thinking of you, Barbara, and we're thinking of your husband and your beloved Bailey. We're also thinking of our good friend Cindy, who her four-legged furry one uh, actually got some not so good news uh, from the vet not so long ago. Things that, you know, weigh heavy on the mind, but even more so in Cindy's case, we know from a Facebook posting that her very good friend is dealing with a very serious, serious health issue. And so for that, I want to do a shout out and say, Cindy, we're thinking about you and your friend. and We wish you the very, very best. And we're thinking about your family as well. I also want to do a quick shout out to our good friend Suzanne across the pond. Suzanne just lost her beloved Skyla and Jethro. And Skyla and Jethro are known by many of us on Facebook who are burner lovers. Uh, Suzanne is a lovely, wonderful person. And so I really wanted to do this shout out for her to let her know that we are thinking about her as well. Um, I'd also like to do a shout out to our good friend, Megan, who actually, very positive thing, Megan just moved the other day. Uh, we wish her well in her new place. Megan is studying to become a paramedic. She also works at a rescue. She's a four-legged furry lover, and she is a friend to Ross and Ridge indeed. We would also like to do a shout out to our good friend and my pen pal, Denise. We hope that the special project that you're working on uh, will be a good project. Um, it's gonna keep her away from the social networks for a while because she has to stay focused. So we wish her all the very best. We also want to throw a shout out to our good friend, I should say new friend, um, because we've never formally met, and many of these folks we've never met face to face, just chatted for quite some time on Facebook, but we feel that they are friends of ours. So I would like to recognize Doreen, our friend from down south. Uh, Doreen has a lot of knowledge about four-legged furry ones, but as well, she's a Harley rider and she just moved into her new place. So Doreen, we really wish you well. 
Once again, for my old friends that have tuned in to this video, thank you for swinging by and checking out this video. For the new folks that are watching it, we hope that we can bring you something of value in the future. So please feel free to send us some notes or some comments of things that you want to see and take part in Matt's bucket list for 2015. Remember, top four, and that's how we're going to determine where we go in the United States uh, for 2015, and we will bring that to you. So, from Rawson Ridge, this is Matt. I'm going to head back to the barn because, you know what, it's getting really toasty out. You can see all of our four-legged furry ones are hot, so it's time to crank up the AC and the burner suite. Have a good day, all. I will talk to you in a week or two. Get high.